You're watching Rogers TV. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. sound. This episode of Sunday Night Geek may contain spoilers and mature themes. Listener discretion is advised. Incoming transmission. Beam aboard for a new episode of Sunday Night Geek on 100.1 Bay FM with Angel Sky Cosplay, Sean, and the Big Dirty Nerd. Join us as we hop through time and space to bring you all the pop culture news and reviews from across the multiverse. You've got to come back with me. Where? Back to the future. And set the flux capacitor. <laughs> Engage the warp drive as we travel to dimensions beyond with Sunday Night Geek. Engage. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Sunday Night Geek. I am the big dirty nerd Angel Sky and Sean are taking a break this week because they were at Atlanticon all weekend long and uh, I guess they need Z's, they need sleeps and stuff. So I've uh, called together, I've put up the bat signal and called together a league of substitute geeks. We've got Richard. Good evening, sir. And we've got Corey. Hello, folks. And if you guys out there in uh, in the nerd verse don't realize, uh, Corey and Richard uh, have been on the show before. Uh, Corey always puts up a fight, but then at the end of the show, he's like, "Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I had a whole lot of fun doing that." Uh huh. So uh, I decided let's let's get the boys back in here. We'll have a bit of a geek sausage fest again this evening. <laughs> there we so go. So that's what we're talking about, guys. So what's up? How how are you guys, Rick? It's been a while since uh, I've seen you. Like you, I know. It, this, this, We've all got our this, separate ways. Well, this, this not I, should, I, I should say, Corey and I are got up the river and you're still down here. <laughs> it's not working together thing really that, sucks. Man, it, it sucks. Yeah, it depends sucks. on your point of view, I guess. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Corey's got to put it with me every week now, so I, I think he'd much better be in your... Uh, in your shoes. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, things are good. I things think, are good. I think somebody's being an a-hole over there. Yeah. Things are giant, good. Giant a-hole. Yep. Yeah, so the first question that's on my mind, and this is something I've been thinking about all week, oh, because we didn't go see a movie this week. I know, we haven't gone to see a movie in a while now. But obviously, Deadpool and Wolverine was last The last one we went and saw, but like Joker came out. No, thank you. And we figured, <laughs> yeah. we figured for sure we'd get an email or a text well, from we, you saying... Well, me and him talked about it, and right. we did discuss probably doing a Tuesday night show. Right. Um, didn't think it was going to be worthy of an opening night. Oh, absolutely not. Um, though, like, it's funny because the first one was actually quite, quite good. Yeah, they should have stopped. And yeah. so I have avoided most reviews, but I have seen a couple, and it's not reviewing very well. No. I don't pay much heed to reviews. I don't no. I don't listen to read the reviews and say, okay, yeah, no. I try to go based on I go on what I want to go see yeah. and see what it likes afterwards sort of thing. Yeah. Um Madam Webb. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we weren't talking about that movie anymore. The movie that should not be named. Completely blocked it in my mind. Yeah, right? Like completely it was blocked out. <sighs> so <sighs> but again, yes, you, if you read reviews you won't go to see a lot of stuff. No. And, and that's true. See, when it reviewed worse than Madam Web, I knew I was out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the same with I me. Well, I see, as I said, I haven't, I avoid most reviews until at least a week or so into its release. And then maybe I'll read one sort of thing. And I, obviously, obviously it's not very good. Yeah. It's a movie I will watch just because I want to continue watching the DC, but. Is this the first James Gunn movie or the last of the previous This regime? is the last of the previous. Regime, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the first James Gunn movie comes out next, I think it's Superman Legacy. Next. No. Um, Creature Commandos comes out end of this month. I think it starts on Halloween. It's an, yeah, it's an animated series. Okay. H yeah. HBO Max? HBO Max. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did not know that yeah. sort of thing. So. Yeah. So that, that's the first installment of the James Gunn no. DC universe. Okay. Yeah. So that should be a... Yeah. I, 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 just, I just found it surprising because usually, uh, you know... And you, we didn't go see Aliens. Not that we're... Romulus? Yeah. Romulus, no. Yeah. yeah. I Which think, is kind of surprising because I kind of wanted to see that one. Yeah. 
Well, someone said they wanted to see it and then never brought it up again. So who's that? You, you. me? <laughs> <laughs> Was that me? Did that would I be do you. that? That would be you. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, um, all right. Again, I'm. I've watched a number of the Alien movies and stuff like that, but yeah. the, the only one that really I will go back and watch, rewatch, and rewatch again is Aliens, the second one. Yeah. I think it's the most. It, it was the franchise definer. Yeah, it was the best movie of the whole yeah. series, or anything, without a doubt. Right, like a- Alien, the first one was good. It was kind of an introduction into that whole universe. But Aliens was absolutely oh, this is what we have to carry on with. This was this yeah. was good. This was a good uh, good bump here. Yeah. So, so, I think the next movie we'll, we'll go see is Venom. Venom, Venom. definitely Venom. Twenty fifth. October, right? Yeah. yeah, there we go. All right, the that last dance. Very, very, very. It good. looks very, very good. Yeah. So. Yeah. Did you Did you guys see the uh, Hot Ones commercial? I think I sent that to you, didn't you I? You did. Yep. Yeah. Where Where Venom is trying all the different hot wings. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and the milk and uh, yeah. it's not it's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's, oh yeah, that would be a very good movie to have. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that yeah. one. I kind of hope they do a little more of a tie into the MCU. Somehow, some way, just to make it maybe into the into the Tom Holland Spider Verse. Yep, that would be cool. Be, be and me. they're supposedly working on the fourth Tom Holland Spider Man movie now. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, they started pre production last week. I think yep. it was something so. like that. Yeah. So, because of course Tom Holland once again can't keep his mouth shut, and he actually let something slip. So well, that is his thing. Uh, that's, that that's, is, that's absolutely his thing. So. Like he just he just can't do it. He yeah, just him and Mark Ruffalo, you don't trust him. No, no. right? <laughs> Spider Man well, and the Hulk. I assume you've seen the the. There's a video of him on one of the talk shows with like the cast, basically from the Spider Man movie sort yeah. of thing, and they're talking about the end scene of Avengers, and they literally told Tom Holland they were going. He was going to a wedding. He, he didn't know what it was, and he's literally standing there looking around, going, "Where's our DJ?" Why is he not here? And he thought he was there for a wedding as part to be filmed and not a funeral. I did not oh, know that's that. awesome. So yeah. that's literally how they got to keep things away from him, certain people, because they just know with no intent yeah. they will just let something loose and ruin <laughs> that, it. That's pretty freaking cool. Yeah. I did not know that, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Good, good old Tom Holland. So you guys actually popped down to the hotel this weekend uh, to check out AtlanticCon a little bit. Uh, I did. I ran in this afternoon quickly. I know yep. Corey went yesterday. Corey was yesterday. down there with my daughter. With your daughter. daughter. Yeah, that's good. What about you? Did you love it? Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it was cool. Cool. Good crowd. Yeah, that's uh, good. The bigger like venue would have been nice, yeah. so you weren't completely you know, on top of everybody. Yeah. But uh, overall, nice, good crowd there. Lots of merch. So it was good. Yeah. 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 I think Excellent. I spent a lot of money. Did you? I did. Money, money, money. Yes, yeah. good for you. Nothing for me. Oh, uh, of course not. <laughs> I bought a couple of Funkos. Right. Why am I not surprised? Where are you going to put them in your hoarding room? No, I don't say there's room. No, not, there's none. There's no room in the hoarding. There's room. There's no right room now. in the hoarding room anymore. Um, I, I I went this afternoon, so ran down for a quick visit this afternoon. It wasn't as busy today, obviously. Yeah, Sundays never are. Yeah. Uh, weather and obviously Thanksgiving and everything like that. So, um, I was. And again, in some ways, disappointed in the variety of of uh, vendors. It's always the same ones, yep. and there's a lot of either. Like you got the two big ones to me is the two men, uh, two guys with beards and uh, Buddy Buddy Toad. Toad. Yeah, yep. big Funkos, big comics, and stuff like that. And all the other stuff is just eh, they need to find some new ones that are going to bring in a little bit more of a crowd. I could see yesterday being just overly crowded in that small room, like it's not a very big room. And then well, the lineup for autographs was right back through the room. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't get really good chance to look at anything because it was just too many people. Yeah. So yeah. my daughter got what she wanted. And that was it. That was it. it. She was, was it. happy, you were happy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. That's a good complaint to have, though. I mean, when, when we held the first one uh, back in, what it was, 2011, 2012, whenever it was, uh, it was at that, it was at the Greenwood. And right off the bat, we realized, holy crap, we have, like, it, we're, we're stocked. Yeah. You right? need, you need to find something in between. I don't yeah. think there is, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, something in between the Greenwood room 
and that set up there yeah. and the annex which is too big too big a convention room in the civic center maybe upstairs yep. upstairs like, one of the convention like the, rooms or yeah, one yeah, of the one. you can there's three rooms there and you can use all three or two or whatever yep. or, you know, something like that there maybe it was but it was it was good to see it was good to see a good crowd out there absolutely no that's maybe fantastic even upstairs at the annex so like yeah, uh, yeah. no not upstairs uh, the, in the civic center in the civic center yeah. the upstairs yeah. room by the uh, hockey hall of fame yeah, yeah. so yeah no it was, from all accounts yesterday was blocked and just rocking certainly. good today and today Good. was a little bit a little bit more laid back for everyone's early there's still lots of people around so yeah. i enjoy going there yeah. i understand as i said this is my son this today it's like 15 dollars <laughs> but you got to pay you got to charge that much to be able to draw people in like lunette if you're yep. not going to have her if you're going to if you want someone like that or someone bigger you got to pay the appearance fees even oh, absolutely though, even though and you would know this much more yep. than we would Yep. Um, you got to pay them, pay for their accommodations, pay for their flight, everything yep. like that. Yep. They don't do it for free. No, sir, they do and, not. And they charge for every picture they, that's taken of That's them, correct. Sir. They do. But that's how they make their living now. And yep. if you want to have them come there, you've got to have a, a, a happy medium of don't charge too much because people won't come, but charge just enough that you can continue doing it. Sir. Yep, that's right. And she's it's, a good job because across all pop culture, even if you're not into the sci-fi stuff, you know her from Big Comfy Couch, Big, Big Comfy, Comfy Couch, and things like yeah. that. There, yeah, so, so she's a good draw to get wide, other people, uh, yeah. yeah, right. So yeah. Well, that's what my son said. He said, well, "I just," he said, "I didn't stand in line to get a picture, but I saw her, and she had the nose on, and it was like that was all I needed to see. Yeah. Like, it was kind of cool." He which did. I, which I think that might have been a draw for some people going there too, because you know oh, there exactly. there was the question going on: Is she going to be? Dressed up as Lunette. I don't think I don't know if she was completely dressed up. No, as, but, but she, she had the she had the nose. nose, and I think she had the hat on too, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she had a hat on when I was there. I didn't yeah. see a nose. Yeah. So, so there you go, right? Like that tickled some people's fancy and yeah. got them more interested in going up and talking to her and whatnot. So, yeah, I know it was great. And of course, anybody that's a fan of the X Men animated series, she played Jubilee. So you know, was, like Corey said, she crossed a ton of genres. Yeah. Uh, wasn't she a character in Resident Evil as well? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So there yeah, you go. Right. Oh, yeah. one. She's all over the place. I yeah. Think, so. So, so she got you know the people who may not be into the sci fi side of stuff, but know her from that, and then you got the people who know her from the animated stuff. Then you yeah. get people know her from this and that. Yeah. So. Good draw. Good. It's a good draw. Guest. Yeah. A good great, guest great, really good guess because you yeah. As you said, yeah. I was going to say, like, what was the average cost of bringing someone in? Like uh, pre pandemic. So yeah. just give you an idea. Pre pandemic. Uh, let me just try to think here. Now, one of our guests, and, and it really, a lot of it, like a lot of the stuff, is fairly. You can kind of standardize, like flight and hotel and stuff like that, right? Depending on where they're coming from, the flight could be anywhere between. Yeah, well, fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred. Okay, yeah. uh, some guests charge very little. I had we had one guest here one year that said, "No, I don't charge a fee. I'm just coming for the for for the fun." Yeah, good enough. Brought her along. Uh, some guests are asking five thousand yeah. dollars, ten thousand dollars. Appearance fees. Appearance fees. Yeah, yeah. and all, so. as you said, it also depends where they're coming from because they could be doing a chain of these. Yeah. and just going from one to another to, to another, another to, yeah uh the guest that was here last year uh, max grudcheck he he was actually he actually f from what i remember now again i haven't been involved in a while so i kind of heard this through the grapevine uh apparently he flew from a con in london england to here and then was flying back to germany for another con oh wow right so well that's what a lot of these guys do is this yep. is how they make a living now going to the Atlanta, the cons and meeting the fans and charging for the uh, whatever and yep. catching up with old friends that they've like they don't see people from the shows and all of a sudden they that cast of so -and -so. angel or yep. buffy or whatever yep. is is appearing this weekend and like oh well wow. never watched either of those shows you've never watched angel or buffy nope are you serious yep. Greg, can you get his geek card <laughs> oh my goodness and how we're do you not that? just never did wow wow <laughs> Wow, I'm wow. The, the looks on their faces right now, people. I, I gotta say, I'm a little bit stunned. I'm a little bit stunned. <laughs> I, I, me too. Like I, I know who they are. I've never watched the shows. Wow. Okay. All right. Mm. That's 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 a <laughs> weird. <laughs> that's a because those like yeah, those two they're seminal like, shows. Yeah, probably. like they're they're early two thousands. Yeah. Uh, uh, Science fiction. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Well, Man obviously away. you know you you can start watching them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There no, you it, go. In all seriousness, though, they are a good series. Oh, I know they're, they're probably a little bit dated series. now, but never watched them. Yeah. Without a doubt, there's things that, like we have this talk about most of the stuff. The things that were said on shows from 
20 years ago that they will never be able to be saying shows now. No, you never get away with it. And surprisingly, they don't censor them as much as they you would think they would to even be able to air them now. Sort yep. of thing. But, like, yeah, there's definitely things on shows now, then, that would never be able to be put on air now. No. No, absolutely not. Unless you're on a straight streaming service. You could get away even with it. Then, even then, sometimes they... Depending on what it is. Yeah. True. All right? Yeah. That's true. Some you can get away with. But Angel and time. Buffy were on Prime regular TV. Yeah. They, they weren't streaming or anything like that, so, yeah, the stuff... Well, there's really no streaming. No. No. Then, no. You know. Back in the day, back in the day, <laughs> back before the internet and all that stuff, yeah. you kids out there, you don't know what the struggle was like. <laughs> when Netflix was a DVD <laughs> rental, <laughs> they mailed you DVDs. Yeah, they yeah. mailed you DVDs and you dropped them off. The, uh, and didn't you drop, wasn't yeah, there, there was a drop, drop box? box? Yeah. Drop box. There was one here in front of Sobeys for the longest time, wasn't there? I think? Something like that, yeah. yeah. The big red box. Yeah. yeah, good old Netflix. Now it's slightly different. Just a bit. Just kind of different. Oh my God, I'm thirsty. Um... Okay, so I know we were discussing what we were going to talk about tonight, and it, did you determine that we can't talk about Agatha? Because I can. You can. Corey can, because he's the only one to watch it. Yep. Neither, me, neither me or Jeff watch it. I'm slack for not watching <laughs> Buffy and Angel <laughs> 20 years ago. <laughs> and you guys can't watch the current sci-fi show. He, That's the draw he, for everybody. He, he's, got a, he's got a point. Yeah. Uh -huh. I hope both of you have watched uh, Rings of Power. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so... Did, what did we think of season two? Oh, fantastic. Way better than season one. Yeah, yes. I, I gotta say, I think it was a lot better than season one. Yeah, yeah well, they delved a little bit more into each character and yeah. made... Broke yeah. a bit. And they, they did the thing. They did the whole, you shall be known as the Lord of the Rings. And I was like, oh, they did the thing! They <laughs> yeah. said it! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, anyway, that was kind of cool. Yeah, and it, it was, uh, introduced the characters that a lot of people know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice to see Tom Bombadil. And, yeah, that was very cool. Yeah. That was very, very cool. And literally uh, shows how powerful he is. Yeah. Because that was one of the things they said about Lord of the Rings is literally he could have just taken the ring, put it in his pocket, forgot about it, and no one would know the difference. And no one would know the difference. And he would have just gone on living and nothing would have ha happened to him. Yeah. So he, he's like an elder wizard, is he? Is that kind of what he I'm, is? Or? I think you've got to have to go really deep into what he is, but I don't think he's... He's something totally different. Oh. He's not like a wizard. He's just got some of the powers, but he's, if you really deep, deep into like the appendices and stuff like that, I right. think it comes into, he's a total other being type thing. Oh, okay. Because we already know that, you know, right from the get-go, we know that Gandalf came some, from somewhere else. Yes. That was, right? that was always part of the... the that was always part of the lore. Yes. And the dark wizard came from somewhere else? Yes. Is that Sour Man? No. No, that's not Sour Man. No, okay. that's a different person altogether. And that's a different person altogether. And because if you, when you read, uh, when you watch the movies and read The Lord of the Rings, Gandalf says there's five of us. And it's it, like there's him, Saruman, um, Sauron, Saruman, Radagast, and there were two other ones who disappeared. But they're not, oh. they're not Tom Bombadil or the Dark Wizard that we've introduced into the Oh, okay. There's two okay. other ones out there. So there's still a lot of backstory, about, a lot of lore that hasn't been explored yet. I mean... There's about 30 books of it, if you really want to go so deep into it. Wow. Yeah. So. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of content to cover, man. Yeah, which is why they can, because it's literally... They're making stuff up, some of it, obviously, yeah. because they have to, but there's literally 30 appendices, and every book has an appendix, and Christopher Tolkien wrote appendices on his dad's notes and stuff like that, so it just ties everything in. So it's just never-ending, in some ways, the story potential sort of thing. Right. So. That's actually kind of cool, though, because there's this whole universe out there that you can can do this, that you can do this with. Oh, without a doubt. Right, it's, so... I think it's the most expansive universe out there that you could do it with, sort yeah. of thing, just because of the the depth of it, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, what's the joke going around about Tolkien? Tolkien developed a language and then wrote a series of books to explain the language or something? Something that's, like that, yeah. That's what the story is? That's what the, that's what the, uh, the yeah. joke is? Yeah. Yeah, and developed a completely new language and then wrote an entire lore around the language. Yeah, um, and, and okay, well, let's continue this now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah. No. It was, uh, but season two was a hell of a lot better. Don't get me wrong. Like season one is still like top tier. You know, eight out of ten. Yeah. But season two to me was like nine and a half. Nine and a half. That extra step. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Brought more, a little bit more into it, a little bit more depth into it. Like you say, build, develop other characters and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I, and I, sorry, I, I did, I was, but like, okay, you're shaking your head, so I didn't want to cut you off or nothing there, but no, sorry, you did okay, not. Okay, right, good. Uh, like even, even like going into more about the orcs. Yep. Right, like their whole, like their whole society, like they realistically were not a warlike people at first. No, they no. kind of had to fight because what was his name, Radar? Ardar. Ardar. Uh, believed they were being oppressed. Yeah. Right, or felt they were being oppressed. Like, Ardar is a fallen elf. Yes. And which was very cool when they showed him almost going back to being an elf. Right? Yeah. That was, that was, was, very, that was pretty cool. Yeah. That was very cool when they did that sort of thing. Yeah. Apologies to everyone who has not watched this yet. Yeah. Way to go there. Way to go there, Rick. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> yeah. Jeez. And I'm not allowed to talk about Ava. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and I'm really looking forward to watch it because I enjoyed WandaVision and Agatha and everything like that. Yeah. But I just haven't had a chance to watch it. I yeah. apologize. That's, that's okay. Like, you haven't started at all. But, I mean, like, I'm being a slacker. So I'm, like, right there. I, I know. Like, I kind of suspect. Okay, well, Corey, we can we can talk about this little, little tawny, tawny, tawny bit. Like, minuscule amounts. <laughs> Oh, I could really have fun. I, I know you could. You don't want to get me started. I no. may say something that would really upset you, too. Well, and okay. I would enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I might actually, what too. If, what right? a freaking sadist we got going on. <laughs> right? I might you enjoy know. it, too, just yeah. because of... Watching me suffer and being... But thanks, guys, some yeah. pals you are. Well, we do what we can. I know you do. Anyway, ask your question. Um, so, earlier this week, we discussed uh, the identity of a particular character. Yes. Is it the character we think it is, or I think it is? I can't tell you that. I, 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 I can't. I, I, I can't. I could <laughs> verify or deny, but I will not say anything. I don't know if that's, that's worse than knowing or not knowing. That's right. No, I mean, see, that's, I think that's a very good way of answering, not answering the question. Because now good. you're just basically going to have to go home I'm and watch the show. Go to, I'm that's gonna, right. I'm going to have to... Go do it. Kick, kick the wife out of the living room for for forty five minutes. I got I got to do stuff that you can't be around. You for really a week need to get a second TV. We have a second TV, but it's in one of the spare rooms where all the cats hang out, and I'm like, I'm not going. A in second there. TV in your office slash den oh, slash yeah. comic kingdom downstairs. You, you, you got any fifty fives at the store? Yes. Do you Samsung? Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe I'll get myself an early Christmas gift. There you go. There we go. Hmm. Oh, Bozo over there on his phone. I'm sorry, my daughter is asking me questions. Oh, oh, oh. I apologize. No, that's okay. It's family stuff. You know how I feel about family stuff. Takes priority. That's all. That, does it, I apologize? No. I was just listening to everything you guys had to say. No, no need to I apologize. I really wanted to drop something, but I didn't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no need to apologize. Say, I'm, say hello. I'm being, I'm being nice. Say hello to your daughter. It only from happens us. on long weekends. Oh, <laughs> we're on long weekends. <laughs> you both well, work with me. You know that. Yeah, this yeah. is true enough. Yeah, yeah. This is not very nice at work. Okay, no. <laughs> hey. maybe, someone, maybe someone could call in and we could talk about it. I'm really screwing you guys Oh, up. <laughs> see, that would just be wrong. That would be so, so wrong, yeah. so mean. Yeah. Um, Who would we find it? <laughs> well, yeah, right. Who do we know who's watched Agatha? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, besides that, guys, I don't really, there, there's not really a whole lot else on the go. So hasn't been um, a lot no, recently no. I can think of. Like, are, are you guys watching Penguin? Yes. Uh, I have not. Oh, my God. I know. <sighs> All right, now I gotta go. It was nice to you guys. <laughs> Penguin is awesome. I, I really thought. Uh, now I will admit, I've only watched one episode. Oh so my far. god! <laughs> <laughs> He's over there. I can see sweat coming out of his forehead. It's like my god, people. Yeah. I know. Oh, no, we're sad and pathetic. Yes, yes, yeah. you are. Yeah. How many episodes? I need a second television. Well. Four? 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 I think four is tonight. Oh, oh, my tonight? God, I'm, okay. I'm Four far behind. Four five is tonight. Okay. I'm far behind. Okay. Oh, no, I and I, again, we go back to the Batman with Robert Patterson movie. Penguin was in a tremendous role in that movie yeah. and character, so I really was looking forward to this. I just have not had the time. I'm sorry. It's... What are you doing all that? <laughs> you don't have the time. i still got soccer on the go and okay. football, and unfortunately... Okay. Hockey started, so I oh, watch hockey. Oh, that's right. I, 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 I do watch hockey, and I still manage to get to my show. Yes, because your hockey games don't start until 11.30 <laughs> I was going to say, there's a little bit of a difference there, I think. My game yeah. started at 8.30. Your game started at 11.30. Yeah. <laughs> Corey, Corey comes into work all blurry-eyed. You, watch, you still watch uh, Oilers lose again last night, didn't you? Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, 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 
funny people. Uh, well, that was good. I enjoyed that one. <laughs> hey, we can't rib your friends. Who can you rib, right? That's true. Uh, that's true. Right? Yeah. That's, that's very true. Yeah. Uh, nah, Penguin Man, like, I watched that first episode. I got dragged right into it, and now it's kind of like, oh, I don't want to watch that right now. A very good show. Yeah. Well done, in my opinion. Uh, it's cool Batman lore. What about Batman? I like that, see? I, I really, really like that. I do, too. Yeah. I like that it's not centered on him. Yeah. He's Is not, he, has not, he made an appearance? Uh, no. Has his name been mentioned? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think in the first episode, the one might time. Have, might have been mentioned once. Yeah. Okay. Right? Because I would think... Because the again, series takes place like a week after the Batman movie. Yeah. Okay. But I would think it would be very hard to have a movie or a show based around that time frame and those characters without mentioning, realistically, the main character... No, but if you've oh, watched any of it, you know the show is centered uh, yes. around, around families, around, yeah. Yeah, not around external stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, and the thing the thing about the modern take on the character of Penguin is he's not like a lot of people think Penguin. They think the umbrella toting wah, 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 character from the '60s Batman Adam West Batman series. Yeah, but like the modern take on Penguin, even in the comics, is he's like this gangster that kind of stays off the radar as much as possible so and i'm guessing like i've only watched one episode that's kind of the feel kind of what it's like yeah. it's uh taking care of himself keeping him where he's staying where he needs to be yeah mm, okay all right see I, I like that sensational cast sensational writing good story I yeah if my wife will let me binge two shows tomorrow but i don't know see what happens you never know you never know you have to get a second TV. Yeah. I do. Thank you. So there's no excuse. <laughs> but you watch everything on your big 80 million two inch. 85. 85. 85 inch monster wall mount thing, don't I you? Do. Yeah. I do. Oh, God, can you imagine watching Penguin on that? Holy shit. Be awesome. Or Agatha. Oh, or goodness. Agatha. Oh. Rings of Power is really awesome on it. I <laughs> bet it was. I it bet it was. Filled the screen. The sound was amazing. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Better than any movie theater around here. <laughs> I was about to argue with you there, sir. <laughs> Close by. Close by. Yeah. I was yeah. about to bring you back to reality there. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. It, it is a nice setup, though. It is. I gotta say, you have a nice setup. Yeah. yeah you sit back, have a have a nip, nip of whiskey. Yes. Watch, mm -hmm. Yeah. Whiskey. Uh, all of a sudden, I'm jealous. <laughs> we must do that again soon. Yeah. Yeah, it was supposed yeah. to be a thing. It we was. did it once. We did it once. <laughs> no, once. Once for Oppenheimer. I thought we did it another time. No. Nope. No, we talked about it a second time. Yeah. That's right. I mean, that's as that. far as it's gotten. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was it. That was it. Uh, Oppenheimer ruined the mandate evening. <laughs> I, th I, I think our next one was supposed to be Napoleon. Yes. And, and that was, never ever... Because right. it's not getting released. What? It's not, it's not, re Napoleon's not getting a hard copy release. Uh, why not? Because it's an Amazon production. Uh, no, it's an Apple production. Uh, Apple, sorry? Yeah. Apple. Sorry. Oh. And someone doesn't have an Apple TV subscription, so we can't watch it. Yeah, but it's not getting a hard copy release. It doesn't matter if I have Apple or not. I'd want the hard copy. Yeah, you would. Yeah, but be, we could still come up with They're supposed to be... Yeah, an Apple Ridley Same. Scott was supposed to come out with, like, a, an extended edition of it, too, sort of thing. And so, but that was supposed know. to be the next movie, and, yes. well, you know, that went nowhere. Went nowhere. But, yes, right. it... it it won't, Well, the same Amazon doesn't always release all their stuff on hard copies, either. No. No. Because no, they haven't released uh, Rings of Power. No, they haven't, no. They have That's, released Reacher, which is kind of weird, but they haven't released uh, Rings of Power. Yeah, that is kind of weird, isn't it? Because you figure Rings of Power, would people would want that for their collection. Oh, I know I would. Right? Yeah. yeah. There's one right there. See, see, see Jeff Bezos? <laughs> <laughs> get your, get oh, your stuff I together do. and get but a... Then maybe they're just going to do a full seven season, whatever, box set, just draw people well, you, that kind of makes sense too when you think about it right because yeah. they could be like here's here's seven season box set for 400 bucks or 500 bucks or a thousand dollars or whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah, they'll, they'll go nuts but they could also do season one which you will buy and then do a season two, two which, which you will, will buy, buy and then do a yeah. season one season two combo which you will buy no <laughs> no no i won't do that i won't uh, do that are you sure they'll put, positive they'll put some figure with it and you're allowed to buy it yeah well that might they See? might that might get me See? but i won't See? do it the season, one and, the season one and two with a Tom Bombadil figure. Boom, 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 boom done. done. Got you. <laughs> Finished. There's a You're good up. chance. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because I like I know I've seen, like, I'd like to have, I really want a nice box set of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. And The Hobbit. Yeah. And I cannot find a nice box set. You can find the full set up to 
Sunrise or wherever sort of thing, but you can't find a nice box set. They, they've been out, but they haven't can't find one locally or even online. And I don't like shopping online anyway. So yeah, but uh, I would definitely invest. It would be an investment. Oh, absolutely, it would of, be, yeah. of a full nice big box set of Rings of Power or whatever sort of thing if it came to it sort of thing. Yeah, that would be very nice to have in your collection. Uh, I got like the box set of Walking Dead complete series. Yeah. Yeah, that is. I mean, that's that, that's your that's your forte. A little bit is the whole physical copies of yes. things. Yes, oh, without a doubt. And, and I think more and more people are actually leaning back into physical copies of yep. of things, uh, mainly because a lot of streaming services now, Paramount, which I, I just blows my friggin' mind, Paramount is taking, a, from what I've read, the Star Trek movies off their platform. Why? I have no idea. Like, like which ones? Like motion pictures, Rock oh, of Search for Spock. They're taking it all after pl- they're deplatforming the Star Trek movies. And then, yeah, well, that's the biggest that argument that people have against the streaming services yeah. that you have no control of what you can ever what you can watch. Nope. One week it's there, next week you go back to say, "I want to watch it again." It's gone. It's gone. Woo! What happened? Yeah. Where'd that go? How yeah. come? They're not paying happened? for the streaming service. But yeah. You're only paying for the right to watch what they provide to you. Yep. So. Yeah. A lot. A lot of times it's it's baloney. I mean, I got a better word than baloney for it, but. Yeah. You know. But well, like the, to me, it's, it's the backbone of Paramount. Yeah, Star Trek is the backbone oh, of Paramount. without a doubt. Realistically. Right. So, right. so. Why, why take those movies off? That doesn't make any sense. Especially if you're going to... Well, I mean, they already took off uh, uh, Prodigy. Yes. Right? Prodigy went for one season on, on Paramount Plus, and then they were like, no, we're, we're not going to do it. And they moved it over to Netflix. Yep. I think it was Netflix. Yeah, Netflix, they moved it over to Netflix, and it took off. Like, it was, season two was a hell of a lot better than season one. Yeah. Right? So, I, I don't know. Different audience, though. Different, well, that's that's part of it as well, different audience, right? You're hitting a different set of eyes. Yeah. Right? right? Like, I have Netflix, but I don't have Paramount Plus. Yeah. Right? You have Amazon. I have Amazon. Which you can get Paramount Plus through. Um, but I still don't have Paramount Plus. Yeah, but Plus. it'd be yeah. extra, extra X amount of whatever, right? Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. It's it's kind of crazy how we've all been, and I mean, I'm guilty of it. I think all three of us here are guilty of it. We've all got wrapped up into the streaming services. Yeah. You've, right. They didn't give you a choice. They didn't give you a choice. Well, yes, exactly. Yeah. You, if you want to watch some of this stuff, you have no way other than to have a streaming service to watch it. Yeah. If you didn't have Amazon, you would not be watching Rings of Power. Yeah. Or Reacher. Or Reacher. Or, right. or, or a couple of other things. Yellowstone. Like any of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Right. The Yellowstone so. was Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus. Were, yeah, but it, was, but yeah. it started on Prime. Yes. Before Paramount Plus was a thing, yeah. it was on Prime. Yeah. yeah. And then they moved it to Paramount Plus. Moved to Paramount Plus. And, that, and that's the thing. Like, the, these streaming services start these shows like Yellowstone, like Tulsa King, like uh, Mayor of Kingstown, stuff like this. And they're really, really good. They get you hooked. And it's like, well, this is the only place I can watch it. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking... Um, <laughs> Strange New Worlds mm-hmm. is only available in Paramount Plus yep. in the States. Yep. But here in Canada, we can watch it on a space. Yes. CTV Sci Fi. CTV Sci Fi. Sorry. Yeah, yes. we're Rebranding of the name. Sorry. Right, yeah, like we're old school, man. Space Channel. Space. Yeah. <laughs> space. <laughs> at, least it's, at least they didn't go with uh, Sci Fi, S Y F Y. Well, they did have that for a while. No, no it was that, down in the States. That was the States. States. Yeah, yeah. The Sci Fi Channel. Sci Fi. Space Channel, where you yeah. can't watch Castle. Oh, God. God. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. (laughs) Like, seriously, man. (laughs) Uh, Yes, I can rhyme off all the words now. (laughs) Yeah, I know. You've got each episode memorized. I've got no doubt in my mind that every episode of Castle. Yeah, poor John is right. I feel bad for the man. Uh, This is almost doing. He could easily stop it. Yeah, he could. Who, me or John? John. John. Yeah, he could. If he, well, he had, for that, he'd have to come out of his office. So. Mm, he could still stop. He doesn't even need to leave his office. He could, I don't know, shut off the internet. He could do something. <laughs> so you wouldn't be able to watch it. That's all he's got to do. Just go over and go, yeah. done. Gone. Gone. But and you really, unlooked, unlooked but yeah, the box. The, 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 the inability to watch shows if you don't have streaming services is, is something that is distract, uh, disturbing in some yep. ways. Because you need to have all of these streaming services to watch certain shows okay? yeah and it's just it's unfortunate it's, things, it's yeah. very unfortunate i mean yeah i mean realistically it's i guess it's well, there's a way of, that things are going too yeah. in some ways but it's just if you want regular news if you want to watch ntv news 
you got to have basic cable. Basic cable. But then you got to have you if you want to watch something else, yeah. you got to have something else. Yeah. So really, that's what that's what I'd say. Realistically, is no different than cable because if you want to watch something on ABC, you got to buy a package that includes, inco- AB. includes ABC. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, it's no different than, oh, I want to watch something on Netflix. Okay, we'll buy Netflix. And oh, I want something on uh, Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus, you got to buy it. Right? Yeah. So. And there's more and more stuff going. Like, I mean, every Monday night, hockey games are going to be on Prime now. Yes. Yeah. Right? Uh, wrestling, WWE Monday nights is moving to Netflix. It's moving to Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Right? Which yeah. is normally on cable or wherever it is. Yeah. Right? Well, type I, thing. I know this is not really s- spacey sci-fi, but I was reading an article on CBC talking about hockey. To watch hockey, if you want to watch your hockey games, you rich, literally need five different streaming services That's to be able to watch games, sort of mm-hmm. thing. And which is insane. That's think, insane. That you have to have, as it, Corey said, Amazon for Monday Night Games, Sportsnet Plus, da 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 da, da to be able to track your team yeah. across all the platforms. Sort of yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Corporations, man, they know how to get the money out of us. That's all, that's, all, that's all it comes down to. And do not try to convince me it's not all controlled. And planned by the different companies. No. Never. Never. <laughs> no. no. They're not trying to make a buck. No, not a bit. No. 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 Anyway. Oh, yeah, that was... That was <laughs> I felt like we were bitching and moaning there for We went off on a tangent. Yeah, we, 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 we started an entire new new, new podcast. Yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On yeah. conspiracy theory. That's there right. we go. Yeah, con- conspiracy <laughs> theory number one. Did we land on the moon? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me ask you a question now. So I, I was, I was, I mean, this is a classic question that everybody at some point goes back to, but I don't think we've ever in any of our discussions, our roundtables or whatever, is we've ever discussed this. Okay. Okay. Sounds. Can Batman, with no prep time, beat Superman? No prep time. No prep time? Mm-hmm. No. No. Okay, thank you. With we are no, all we are all in agreement. N- with no prep time, not at all. No. No. He's just a dude. He's just a dude with with gear. Armor. Yeah, and gear. Yeah. So if he doesn't have prep time to get the gear that he needs, armor that he needs, there's no way he can do it. Yeah. No. He could probably put up a little fight. Well, with even that, like I was, because uh, I saw the uh, question. No, I think he like he might get one swing in Superman, block it, go poof, and that would be the end of Batman. Batman turns into a fine red mist. Yes, or something like. Well, that. Well, I, I was even thinking like, okay, say for example, Batman and Bruce or Batman and Superman are standing up next to each other, and Superman just decides. Pick. Well, it, oh, you, we've seen that not in the Batman movie. We've seen that in the Marvel movie, in, in the Avengers movies. <laughs> <laughs> Thor goes, and Thor is standing beside the Hulk, and Hulk goes, poof. Yeah. <laughs> and Hulk goes, woo. Right, so, so I mean, essentially the same thing. And he's thing. a god, yeah. supposing. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, right. So, no, with with prep time, yeah, I think it would be a much better battle, but I still think Superman's pretty well indestructible. So but the only way they could beat him would be with Kryptonite. 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 And we've, see, and we've yeah. seen that in that movie, so. Yeah, true right. enough. Until he said Martha. I mean, so just like uh, their mothers had the same name, and. Yeah, yes. that's what stopped Batman from killing Superman. Yeah, yeah, right. Interesting. Yeah, it's very yeah. interesting. Yeah, the writers there fell asleep or something. Yeah, we fell asleep. <laughs> this feels like it was written by uh, AI. Can we stop this way? Evan say Martha. Okay, okay. don't work. <laughs> yeah, don't okay. yes, work. <laughs> That's literally the way they were from 1940. Right. That's the names of the characters and the names of the mothers back in 1940. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. But it was, yeah. You, you no, know, no, epic battle to stop by a name. Yeah. It yeah. could have been Lois coming in and yeah. pleading. It could have been Wonder Woman showing up and stopping it. It yeah. could have been something, but Martha. Martha. Yeah. <laughs> Martha. <laughs> right? So, again, hey, what did you just say? Sleep. What did you just say? <laughs> what they did you have, say? They're going to kill Martha. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Why, when, why, why did we have to go back to that? Because oh. you brought it up. Yes. I, I did, yeah. You're, you're you good. literally opened the door to them. I did, didn't I? I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. That was but, bad. Yeah, no. With planning and time and resources, it would be a much better battle. But Yeah. I think I absolutely think in, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what would happen. Soup would take out bats. Yeah. No, no ends, ifs or buts. Yeah. Even with the kryptonite, even with the green kryptonite, I think there's something to be said. Like, you'd have to keep him in a state, a constant state of crypto radiation. I don't know what the yeah. hell to yeah. call it, but like a prison made out of kryptonite. That's what yeah. you'd have to do, right? 
So anyway, there we go. Wow, that, that was a quick answer to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think you were expecting much uh, little debate on that. Yeah, a little bit of debate. A little bit of debate. We're, we're all in the same. No, no. no oh, no. okay. All right. No, good enough. You guys watching Lois and Superman? Uh, I'm not, uh, but I hear it's really good. <sighs> Okay, yeah. let's move on. <laughs> I did watch. Move along. I did watch the first three, four seasons. Yeah, I, I watched the first three or four seasons. And this is the last season, so why watch it? Yeah. What move, service is it on? Move along. CTV, so, space, sci-fi, whatever the hell you want to call it, sir. <laughs> but is it, a, is it on a streaming service? Too? Oh, I'm no. sure it is somewhere, but, but it's not on it's CTV. Oh. Yes. <laughs> sci-fi. Um, sci-fi. Okay. Uh, uh, Four twenty-five yeah. on your uh, five channel. Guy. I think uh, I think Corey's getting a little bit yeah. busy with us. We're, we're we're not watching the shows we should yeah, be watching. That's right. Yeah. yeah, man. I listen. I've got a significant other who's obsessed with YouTube right now. So, hence the reason you need a second, second TV, TV in your I know, office. I know. And you yeah, can go down and say. I'm going downstairs to my office to do some paperwork yeah. and sit down and watch a TV <laughs> show or two. <laughs> Fall asleep on the couch downstairs. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what I need to do. <laughs> sigh. I'm so sorry, <laughs> a big Corey. Heavy sigh from Corey. Sigh. Yeah. Yeah. Corey's he's number. Sigh. I'm a 16 year old 40 inch Sony <laughs> 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 that I'm watching stuff on now. And I still manage to catch I, I have to unplug one HDMI cable to plug in another to be able to watch some stuff, but yet I still manage well, to do it. I don't know how you can see it, it at all when you're 20 feet back. I still manage to do it. <laughs> Listen to the guy over here complain about oh, white boy problems. What? Hey, I tell ya. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Who? <laughs> I have a social life. I have a wife. Excuses, people. <laughs> I'm giving you a week. You're not caught up? It's all ruined. <laughs> well, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sends out a Penguin, joint. Agatha, yeah, even everybody. Superman Lois, even if you don't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ruin it all. going to ruin it all. Call him the ruiner. <laughs> the well, ruiner. Definitely get the Penguin and Agatha. I don't yeah. know if I can get Superman and Yeah, I'm <laughs> the same way. Definitely, I'll get Penguin and Agatha. So, I do have a question because I heard when they announced the fifth and final season, which is, I think this is it, right? Fifth or final? I, I know it's the, it's the final. It's the final season. I'm, I'm sure, not sure numbers are it. Fifth. But... Didn't they say they were dropping a whole bunch of actors and characters and stuff like so that? So far, everybody's still there. Yeah, that's what I heard. That no one's been... There's one key character that hasn't shown up yet, but it's only been one, two episodes. Yeah, okay. Because so. that was part of the the intrigue of the show when I watched it, was all the different characters that were there. All right. Yeah. But you still got most of them are, are all still there. Cool. Okay. All right. It's pretty cool. Mm. But carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of the Arrowverse shows. Well, the Superman Lowe's, Lowe's. Superman Lowe's, yeah. 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 Which uh, if DC was smart, they could have carried into the movies. Oh, unbelievably. Like, again, <sighs> it's pretty dropped the ball when Marvel carried the ball and ran with it. Yeah. DC dropped it. Yeah. 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 Oh, look, a ball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's exactly, you know, you're absolutely, you're 100% correct. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, and don't get me wrong, like, like uh, Arrow, when... You know, because it went seven seasons. It was getting long in the tooth by season oh, six. Oh, yes, one hundred percent. Yes, right. So I think they were right to kind of conclude that same thing with the Flash. Yes, exactly. Oh, right. without but a doubt. they could have carried those characters into, into movies, movies, just like Marvel did with Coulson and Agents of Shield yeah. Yeah. and all this well, stuff, or yeah. bring them from the movies Missed down to the shows, shows and things yeah. like that. Oh. But DC always had to have it separate. Yep. Right, and then they're canceling stuff because it's not part of the James Gunn. Universe. universe, universe, but yet they've introduced multiple universes, so it's just simple to say he's from a different universe, yep. and you're done. Marvel's yeah. done simple. that. Marvel's simple. done that. He said, "Oh, you're from Earth, whatever." Yep. Okay. Yeah. Or even just bring it up when someone says, "Oh, come, this Flash is different." Well, this Flash is from Earth, whatever. Yep. Simple. Yep. And Instead they, of canceling it all, and they have that in the comics, away. and they've, they've got that in the comics, right? Yeah, like, yeah. The, 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 if anything, I mean, I'll, you know, me being a Marvel fanboy, I'll give credit where credit is due. DC has always done the Infinite Earth story stuff very well. Yes, right? yes. Like they've got different Batman, different Superman, all on different Earths, and some of them are not even named the same, and you know, some of them are criminals, some of them are whatever. Yes. Right? Well, even when uh, Arrowverse, when they did it, they yeah. did a great job with it. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt, right? yeah. And yeah. Introducing the different... Right. Didn't Kevin Connolly get to play Bruce Wayne and Batman yeah. live action? Yes. yes. Right? So, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, again, we've had this discussion multiple times about how Marvel has been unbelievably good at connecting all their shows and movies and everything like that and keeping the same actors and everything 
in those roles as much as possible. You can, I think there's like three people that you can off the top of your head that they changed character actor sort of thing. Yeah. But DC, just for whatever reason, Warner Brothers, whoever's in charge, just can't look at it and go, this works, this works, this works. Let's make it all work together. Yeah. No, why can't they do it sort of yeah. thing? Just, That's right. I, they I, add I their know. Superman, they add their Batman, they add their Wonder Woman. Yep. Yep. Right? And even had their Flash to a certain degree. Yep. Yep. Right? So James Gunn came in, and all they had to do was carry on with those guys yep. and just put his vision to it. Yep. Well, without a right? doubt. But he instead, could've, he did, you've got to recast everybody and could've change done another, Could have done another Superman movie with Henry Cavill. Oh, no absolutely. Problem. Without a doubt. Right? I mean, they even introduced him back in at the end of Black Adam. Like, all right, here we go. Yep. This yep. is coming back. Yep. Yeah, no. Oh. Yeah, that's that's one of the big failings right there. Smarter people than us are making these decisions. Uh, no, obviously they're not smarter than us, Corey. Unfortunately, they're not smarter well, than us. It goes back to uh, which movie was it? What was it? Was it? Um, oh, which one was it? Not not snack, not Snyder's uh, Justice League. The other one, the the first one. The one that wasn't Snack Snyder's vision sort of thing. So, oh, yeah, the one that uh, Josh, Josh Wetton, Wheaton yeah. came in and kind of fooled But it. literally someone at DC, one of the executives there, like one of the high-end executives, literally said, this movie cannot be more than two hours long. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It has to be two hours long. Yeah. And you go in and watch the movie and go, okay, you know what? That wasn't bad, but holy mackerel, we're missing a whole bunch of stuff. There was a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, caught. and then you watch Zack Snyder's vision. Which is ten hours long. Yeah. Four and a half, <laughs> but it's still... <laughs> You're still missing stuff, but it fills in a whole bunch of gaps, yeah. sort of thing, right? But like, it's like, how? Why do you say it has to be two hours long? Like, you have you not watched a Marvel movie or anything else? They're not two hours long. No, they're, they're two longer. And a, they're two and a half, three hours, yeah. easy, yes. right? easy. Yeah. Well, Robert uh, Patterson's Batman was three hours and something long. Yep. Yeah. And I remember going watching and going, "It's over." Yeah. Wow, that was so good. Yeah. The yeah. Riddler made that movie for me. Oh, the Riddler. Yeah. Oh, without yeah. 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 Riddler, yeah. But yeah. it was like, why, there was no time restraint on that. And, mm -hmm. like, if they had made that a two hour movie. Oh, it would have oh, flopped. It would have been terrible. It would have, like, there would have been no backstory. There would have been mm -hmm. very little information. It would just been, like, you would not have got the backstory on the Riddler, why he was what he was, and da 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 da. So, like, just to come in, to, for someone to say, two hours, that's it. Can't yeah. be any longer than that. Yeah. And they had to, the, like you said, they had to the shave so much important stuff yeah. out of the story. But when you sit down and watch Zack Snyder's Justice League, I, I was blown away. I was like, holy, like, this is really, really friggin' good. Yep. Yeah. Right? It was completely not what I expected. Yeah. Right? Like, the same story, but a totally different story. Yeah. Yeah, good, that's a good way of putting it. It was the same story, but a totally different story. Yeah. And even the end credit thing built up to something so much better yeah. than where it's going. Yeah. Right? Again. Yeah. This is where DC has mm. failed, and Marvel has done a great job. Every single end credit scene in Marvel that I can think of has led to something, mm -hmm. has has pertained to something, mm -hmm. has has a something to lead into. May not be the next movie; could be two movies from now. Yeah. But there's, you go back and look at them, and go, "Wow!" And DC's done them, and as you said, Black Adam, Superman, and Black Adam. That would have been a great battle. That would have been. been. That would have mm -hmm. been. Uh, and now we don't get either of them. No. No, it's, and it's unfortunate because there was a lot of play up in Black Adam. Like Black, from what I understand, Black Adam with the star power of Dwayne Johnson and everybody else that was in that movie was supposed to be kind of like a new kicking off point yes, for yes. the DCEU. Yes, exactly. Right. Instead, it was buried when James Gunn and what the other guys, well, Peter Safran. Well, it didn't make $2 billion dollars either, so to them it was a failure. It was a failure, yeah. Right. And Very I think few of their movies have made even a billion dollars. <laughs> no, no, but yeah. that's their issue is they me their measuring stick is too... Too big. It's too big. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they they look at it and they, they say, look well... look at the losses versus the wins. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, I, and you, know, you know, a lot of that goes towards, like, the marketing budget and whatnot, too, right? Like, it... I, I'm someone's going to explain to me Hollywood finances when a movie that makes 700 or 800 million dollars is considered a failure because... Because like Corey said, it didn't make two billion. Yeah, but no, million. but 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 no, but it actually uh, considered a box office bomb because it didn't make back its. Hold on, it only cost two hundred million dollars to make, so it made six hundred million dollars. No, our marketing, everything else, costs us another three hundred million. Well, then you're making, you're doing your marketing wrong. You're, doing shit this <laughs> you're spending three hundred million dollars yeah. on marketing, yeah, or whatever right. sort of thing. So like, that's right. But no, I like you. Sh 
very few movies make over a billion dollars, let over two billion dollars. Like, the, right. say that's your yardstick to measure by, but you've got to be able to figure out how to make these movies and still make money on them and consider them a good movie and mm -hmm. continue on with it, sort of thing. I can't remember what Black Adam made, but it was. I thought it was well worthy of continuation sort of thing. Yeah, absolutely it was. Right? So, yeah. And I mean, I, I've been a huge detractor of the DCEU ever since Batman versus Superman. Like, I have not really enjoyed the entire DCEU, but when Black Adam came out, well, even like the Shazam movies. Yes. I enjoyed the Shazam movies, so I was like, oh, okay, well, Shaz Black Adam's a Shazam character. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to watch that and see what they do with it. And I was like, okay, so they bring in Black Adam. All right, they bring in the Justice Society. I was like, oh. Yeah. And Black Adam was a lot darker version than, say, Sajam was. Do, well, big doubt. time. Yeah, big time. Right? So it was kind of like, okay, they've they've done something different here, and I kind of enjoy it. And then I heard, like, I think it, start, it started for me to hearing that uh, The Rock had taken down all references off his Instagram to Black Adam and stuff. And I was like, well, what's going on here? And then it broke that the studio was considering it a failure because it didn't make X number of dollars. And I was like, what? I got to look down. That's, that's baloney, like. It's a bunch of malarkey, sir. A bunch, a bunch of malarkey. A bunch of malarkey. Right? That's what it is. Yeah. But I also read somewhere now that isn't Batman, Robert Patterson's Batman, supposed to be the Batman and the James Gunn? No. No? I thought I read that somewhere that day. That's what he asked. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I, I, thought I, don't the, think so. I thought that Batman was going to be so like separate. The budget, right. according to Wikipedia, for Black Adam was 190 to 260. Million? Million. Yeah. Okay. And according to this, their box office was three ninety three five, and that's considered a, a failure. Well, basically, if you want to do the math, they only did a hundred made one hundred forty million dollars above budget, and that's mm. not. I don't think that one ninety to two sixty includes, includes all, all the, the marketing, costs. All, all the marketing and garbage. Uh, that's just the actual production production cost. production cost. But again, did they let it do what it needed to do, and did they? Like, they continue with a Black Adam, too. How would that have done, sort of thing? Like, uh, exactly. Yeah. Hmm. Especially if you're bringing Superman into the mix. Like, yeah, again, yeah. The, the introduction of him at right at the end just set everything up that you could go for another movie, sort of thing, without a doubt, sort of thing. Right. Like, I know we went to watch a movie, and it's like, ooh. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. There was a, then there was a lot of cool stuff in, in Black Adam, yeah. right? But that end credit scene with Henry Cavill coming into the shadows, I was like, okay, yeah. That'll do it for me right there. Yeah. I was happy to see that. And then, but of course, I, I think I saw it, I didn't see it in theater, so I didn't see that the first time around. I saw it like a couple months afterwards. Okay. When all the news had broke that it was a flop and blah, 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 and Henry Cavill was being replaced and all this garbage. And uh, so, yeah, okay. I, I don't think Robert Patterson's Batman is a big I thought I read that recently, but I could be mistaken. It this might not be, though. This happened once or twice. Yeah. What, you be mistaken? Yeah. Never. Once or twice. Never. Once or twice, man. You're never mistaken. <laughs> and don't let, don't let the wife tell you any difference. Mm -hmm. You're never mistaken. Mm -hmm. I'll remember that Tuesday at work. Oh, okay. <laughs> when I tell you you're wrong, you're wrong. Uh, but that's something I thought I read somewhere, but I mean, why would they do that? Was, I, I mean, maybe they will. I, right. You know? You know, the movie was a success. Yep. The spin after the Penguin is a success. A success. Yep. So let's throw it out to the wayside. Yep. Yeah. Let's move exactly. on to something else. It, uh, this, the, this is the only thing. So, that, like, oh. again, another 185 to 200, so a little bit less than Black Adam. Uh, 772 box office, so much better, much but better. still. Well, they are making a sequel. They did make a spin off. Yes. Right? Uh,. The film is intended to launch Batman's shared universe and set to be followed by two sequels, with Batman Part Two set to be released on October 2nd, 2026. Ooh, that's a so, long wait. That's supposed to take place, take place in the winter. Oh, really? So, yeah, so there's a good chance that it is Robert Pattinson. I'm hoping it is, but I really enjoyed his version of Batman, too. Yeah. It was the, in my opinion, of the latest Batman movies, it was the truest to the comic books as Batman being a detective. Yeah, absolutely. Oh without, oh, without a doubt. Right? Yeah. Everybody else made Batman a superhero. Yeah. But in the comics, realistically, Batman is a detective. Yes. Who goes out and does his own groundwork, does it all, figures it all out. Yes, yeah. exactly. Oh, without a doubt. He, yeah, he, that was his role in that movie. Right? Definitely. And yeah. uh, I, that, to me, was one of my favorite Batman. Yeah. Just yeah. to see it, that role 
the Batman at the crime scenes doing yeah. this, doing, doing that. Doing the investigations. Doing, doing the investigations and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely 100% correct on that. Right. I really enjoyed that aspect so of the, the movie. So you hit the nail on the head there. Yeah. And, and as far as I'm concerned, the Riddler was by far the best villain they've had in a Batman movie at all. Yeah. And the Penguin yep. Yep. is a great character to be in there, villain slash whatever you want to call him. In the movies, anti-hero, yep. anti-hero, anti anti -hero. right? Yep. Things like that. There, yeah, was just well done. Yeah. Well done, sir. Well done. I think I think Corey's enamored by uh, by the Batman Penguin ish universe. Over and there. considering I hate twinkly vampire guy, I'm impressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. What do you mean? You don't twinkle, like Cedric? Twinkle bats. Twinkle no, bats. No. The yeah. minute they made a vampire sparkle in the sunlight, yeah. Lost all no. interest in anything to do with that series. Yeah, I don't care how good it was or what people thought of it. Uh, yeah. Ruined it. No, vampires burst into flames. Even the sunlight like, do not sparkle. No, <laughs> he's not wrong. <laughs> so, right? I mean, oh, yeah, I see. like. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm a vampire werewolf horror genre. Purist. I love those things. Yeah, and you do not make vampires sparkle. No. You know what would be now that now that Blade has made his way back into the public consciousness, he should come in and kill him. I think I think they should do a Blade Twilight crossover. <laughs> that would be cool. It only has to be five minutes long. Oh, I know it would be. <laughs> Just come in, kill him, done. <laughs> but can you is imagine? That Blade mo is it the new Blade movie we actually no ever going to get made? I, I don't know. No, no. I don't know. We don't know. No. Supposedly they're literally down to two actors in it now. Yeah. yeah. They've so. they've cut so much on it and everything is up in the arms and Disney's made a lot of cuts recently yeah. to their to their slates, which is unfortunate. Wait. Yes and no, because I think in some ways they were overextending themselves too. Too many oh, yeah. movies at one time. I think we we've had this discussion about sort of superhero fatigue. Yeah. Like too many movies in a year, too many whatever sort of yeah. thing. But yeah, I, I, I think a lot of people were looking forward to that. Yeah, the new Blade movie sort of thing. Uh, having Wesley Snipes show up in Deadpool was unbelievable. Uh huh. Yeah. Very cool. So yeah, that was a great continuation of that. Well, I mean, we so we we've seen like so we've got the the original Blade trilogy, which was billed as a vampire slash horror movie, not a superhero flick. So no, correct. I'm going to consider it as that. We got like three minutes left here, so I got to get this out real quick. Uh, then we see him again in the new Deadpool movie. We've got the Agatha thing happening right now on Disney Plus. We had the Werewolf by Night thing where we got a Werewolf by Night. Mo uh, mini movie, black and white movie from what was that? Two years ago. Yep. Yeah. Two years ago that introduced Swamp Thing, not Swamp Thing, Man Thing, and uh, there's so, you know, we've got Ghost Rider from the Agents of Shield. So, so they're they're you know, the MCU is slowly getting into its horror side. Yep. And I'd really like now that, now that you know we've seen Blade back, like Wesley Snipes Blade has made an appearance again. I'm like, well, you guys got to lean into this now. Well, Midnight Suns is supposed to be a something they're working on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Which would be really cool. Well, it would be, yeah. would be very, very cool. Right? So. Yeah, I'd be down with that. Yes. See Midnight Suns. But I mean, like, even even like one of the most popular uh, Marvel comics of the 1970s and early 80s was Doom of Dracula. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Right? So let's. Or find out how you can get involved. Email us at comments at rogerstv.com or visit our website. Sports fans know Sundays are for football. That's why you need NFL Sunday Ticket. With NFL Sunday Ticket, Rogers customers get every live game every Sunday afternoon all season long. Follow your favorite teams and players live in HD. Order NFL Sunday Ticket and get up to 200 regular season games. Rogers Ignite TV customers say NFL into your voice remote. Today, I helped a senior find transportation to an important medical appointment. Today, I helped a new mom find virtual programming so she didn't feel so isolated. 
Today, I helped someone understand new government supports. Every day, 211 navigators connect Canadians to critical government and community.